Chapter 8, question 13. A random sample is selected from a normal population with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 20. A after a treatment is administered to the individuals in the sample, the sample mean is found to be 96. 13a asks, how large a sample is necessary for this sample mean to be statistically significant? Assume a two-tailed test with an alpha of 0.05. So what we need to do is work backwards to find the sample size. So the first step that we need to do is figure out what value of a z-score would be sufficient to reject the null? If we go to the back of the book and we look at table B1, what we find is that if we want 0 0.025 here and 0 0.025 here, these critical values are negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. So that's the minimum that we are going to be able to find, we have at, at a minimum, we need a score of, a Z score um, of negative 1.96. And it's going to be negative because the difference between the mean and the population value, the mean is smaller than the population value. So we do want to, we do expect a negative Z score if it's going to be significant. So what we do is we take the Z score and it is going to be the mean minus mu divided by the standard error. And we're going to plug in this value for our mean. And we have 96, subtract 100, divided by the standard error. And so that standard error is what we're going to try and solve for. It is what we're going to solve for. So if we multiply both sides by the standard error and divide both sides by negative 1.96, what we get is 96 subtract 100 divided by negative 1.96. So we have negative 4 divided by negative 1.96. And that gives us 2.04. And what we can then do is plug that into our formula for the standard error, which was the standard error is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So we can have 2.04 equals 20 divided by the square root of n. So the square root of n is equal to 20 divided by 2.04. Square root of n is equal to 20 divided by 2.04. That's 9.803. So if we square both sides, n equals so 9.803 times 9.803. What we get is 96.098. That means that the minimum sample size that we need, we need more than 96. 96 is not going to cut it. So the minimum sample, sample is 97.